<laughs> okay, so I'm back. <laughs> Got a warmer hat on this time. You can see the sun has gone down just there. It's about to go down, but there are no people here and the light, what I want to them to switch on only com comes on around eight. So it's 6.30 now, mm, hour and a half to wait. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna try this composition I wanted to try earlier on, as there's no people here now. Got the leading line. I will probably try to shoot it again later on when the light is on. That will probably make all the difference. And then on this side, I do have the horse. Mm. We have a nice sky there, if you can see there. That's the image, I'll put it in later. That is a very nice sky. Yeah, I might do a sky, sky swap later. A hundredth of a second at F16. Pretty, pretty dark on the palace, but um, nice sky. Anyway, yeah, so uh, Fuji GFX 100 S2. <laughs> I knew everything. But um, let me take a walk downtown, down Karl Johan. If you want to see my video on blue hour photography of Oslo Parliament, see this video, link in description or on the thumbnail at the end. Come back in half an hour and see the situation has improved. There we have the Royal Palace, lights have come on, still a blue hour. Okay, so I'm all set up here at the palace now. You see, I've done the first picture. Uh, the problem with this is that the horse on the left hand side is not lit up. <laughs> I could of course bring a torch next time, light him up myself. But I do have the light on the right hand side. So I have the green line on my grid is activated. And yeah, that is like pretty much the composition I'll go for. So I have the complete line of the, this rail going towards the light. This rail here, the complete arch of that. And I do have a bit of the horse in the picture. ATI is so two seconds at 7.1. F-stop 7.1, way too dark. Um, six and a half seconds. Six and a half seconds. Mm. Yeah. Ten seconds then. Let's see what we get for ten seconds. Yeah, 10 seconds is um, sliding off the, the palace nicely by seeing these lights on the palace. I'll go 20 seconds at 7.1 at 80 ISO and just look at the results. See how I will blend the images. So yeah, <laughs> I'm just gonna call that the evening. Got a Taken quite a few shots today. It's, I'm happy with that. <laughs> video quality is what the video quality is. Well, the, the entertainment is what the entertainment is. The quality is not bad, it's the DJI Pocket 3. Um, thank you for watching, thank you for subscribing, thank you for giving the video a like. Thank you, <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Leave me a comment, it helps me, encourages me to get out and do more. Thanks, Jess. Okay, how did I edit this photograph in On One Photo Raw? I open it in the edit, crop it to 16 by 9, get the whole rail in on the right and the horse on the left, or to develop, I applied Brilliance AI, go to transform and just rotate it slightly so that the camera was level. I'm not 100% happy with the leveling there so i'm gonna 
just rotate it slightly and then just recrop it again. Then I apply no noise sharpening. Though I'm at 80 ISO, I still find it does clean the image up nicely. Go to local adjust, select, select super AI, select the horse and that section. Uh, select adjust and just up the exposure a little bit just on on the selection and then apply some dynamic contrast only on the architecture in the foreground so I selected the sky and painted that out so that dynamic contrast is not applied to the sky I always select surreal and then I adjust the opacity To around 30 40 just to where it gets activated I do a sky swap go to sunsets I select sunset uh, 20 I like the warmth in the sky apply uh, apply the gradient a, a vignette gradient just over the royal palace Just to draw the eye a little bit more to the building. I then applied screen sharpening as this is just going for the screen at the moment. For printing I will apply print sharpening and then I applied my favorite border which is just for social media and that's it. Before and after. Well I hope you enjoyed this. Please give me a like, please subscribe, leave me a comment and I'll see you in the next video.